As a pediatrician, one of the most common questions parents have about oral health is when to begin dental home care for their baby. The answer to that is the sooner the better. It's important to get children used to having their mouth cleaned even before teeth enter the mouth by cleaning the gums with something like a cloth covered finger. Once the teeth come in, finger toothbrushes can be used or very small toothbrushes designed for young children. The American Academy of Pediatrics, as well as the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, recommend using a tiny smear of fluoridated toothpaste from when the first tooth comes in until age three, and then increasing the amount of fluoridated toothpaste to a pea-sized amount. It's important to note that while children may want to brush their own teeth, they will need help to do it well for quite some time. It's important for children to practice brushing so they build the physical ability to do so but children will need help from adults to ensure plaque is thoroughly removed from their teeth until around age seven to eight or later for some children. Flossing becomes necessary in order to clean between teeth once the teeth are touching, and a brush can no longer clean the space between the teeth. Babies typically have space between the teeth at first, but those spaces close and teeth become tighter as they get more teeth. Exposing your baby to dental floss early as part of their dental routine will make it much easier to floss their teeth when they're older by setting the habit early. Like brushing, it's never too early to start. Modeling good oral hygiene and making it part of your everyday household routine will set your baby up for a lifetime of oral health. In summary, it's never too early to introduce healthy mouth habits to your baby. Begin brushing and flossing daily as a part of a healthy oral hygiene routine. Children will need help brushing and flossing effectively until they are around the age of seven to eight.